Why did you the world would hold back? Black is a color of dirty clothes, of grimy hands and feet. Black is a color of darkness, of tired, beaten streets. Why did you give me thick lips, a broad nose, and kinky hair? Why did you create someone who receives the hatred stare? Black is the color of the bruised eye. When someone gets hurt, black is the color of darkness. Black is the color of dirt. Why is my bone structure so thick, my hips and cheeks so high? Why are my bones brown, my eyes brown, and not the color of the sky? Why do people think I'm useless? Why do I feel so used? Why do people see my skin and think I should be abused? Lord, I just don't understand. What is it about my skin? Why is it some people want to hate me but don't know the person within? Black is what people are labeled when they want to be kept away. Black is the colors of shadows cast. Black is the end of day. Lord, I don't understand why my own people mistreat me. They either say they don't like my skin, I'm too light or too dark. Lord, I don't think it's time. Lord, I think it's time to make a change. Why don't you redo creation and make everyone the same? Why did I make you black? Why did I make you black? I made you the color of coal from which beautiful diamonds are formed. I made you in the color of oil, the black gold which keeps people warm. Your color is the same as the rich, dark soil that grows the food you need. Your color is the same as the black stallion and panther. Oh, what majestic creatures indeed. All colors of the heavenly rainbow can be found throughout every nation. When all the colors are blended, you become my greatest creation. Your hair is the texture of lamb's wool. Such a beautiful creature is he. I am the shepherd who watches them. I will always watch over thee. You are the color of the midnight sky. I put star glitter in your eyes. There's a beautiful smile hidden behind your pain. That's why your cheeks are so high. You are the color of dark clouds from the hurricanes I create in September. I make your lips so full and thick so when you kiss, they will remember. Your stature is, a, is strong, your bone structure thick to withstand the burden of time. The reflection you see in the mirror, that image that looks back, that is mine. So get off your knees, look in the mirror and tell me what you see. I didn't make you in the image of darkness. I made you in the image of me.
But one day, one day, he heard Jesus passing by. God said, Amen. Amen, Amen. I want to talk about that blind man just for a little while. Found in the Gospel of Mark, the 10th chapter, beginning at verse 46. Mark chapter 10, beginning at verse 46. Just give me 15 football minutes. Then the missions and the matrons and the decoration committee, we're going to take a picture. And then I'm going to do another picture with my sound ministry. And then we're going to hop on some vans and we're going to get up out of here. Amen. 
Mark chapter 10 beginning at verse 46 we're standing all over the building for the word of God there you shall find these words and they came to Jericho and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people blind Bartimaeus the son of Timaeus sat by the highway side begging and when he had heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth he began to cry out and say Jesus thou son of David have mercy on me and many charged him that he should hold his peace and he cried out the more a great deal thou son of David have mercy on me and Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called and they called the blind man saying unto him be of good comfort rise he calleth thee and he casting away his garment rose and came to Jesus and Jesus answered and said unto him what will thou that I should do unto thee the blind man said unto him Lord that I might receive my sight and Jesus said unto him go thy way thy faith have made thee whole and immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way and I just want to talk about for the next little while holler until he hears you holler until he hears you now we don't have to worry about who side you on because when we go to football games I know that you are alumni of the Lynette Panthers I know some of y'all are alumni of Valley High now let me go old school I know some of y'all went to Rehoba High School because when we yell out or say your school you start hollering back to us and I just want to know is there anybody other than blind Bartimaeus that don't mind hollering until the Lord hears you okay okay because you're, you're looking at me you're looking at me you're looking at me in that tone like Reverend what do you mean holler until you hear me let's look at the text just for a little while and we're going to get up out of here my brother and sister here in Mark chapter 10 Jesus had already started his mission he had already healed some folks he had already delivered some folks and, and he had to go to Jericho y'all do know Jericho Jericho where the walls came tumbling down Jericho is a place where Jesus would always go through because he had to go through Jericho just to get to Jerusalem and as he's on his way with his disciples and a multitude of people there was a man on the side of the road by the name of blind Bartimaeus now Bartimaeus was nosy just like some of us he, he couldn't see but he could hear Okay, you do know that when, when, when one of your senses go away, the other senses start getting stronger. So his, his sin was not there, but his hearing grew stronger. And he was being nosy saying, what's going on? Because as he was sitting there in Jericho, Jericho was a place just like Westgate's Resort. Okay, maybe y'all ain't been on vacation. Let me come get you. you. You know when you go on resorts, not only when you go to resorts to have fun, but there's always panhandlers and beggars at resorts. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, my, 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 my desire this year, before the year is out, I'm, I'm going on somebody's cruise. But, but they give you rules before you go on a cruise. They let you know that, 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 that not only are there other parishioners on the boat, but there are some beggars on the boat. And, and beggars would try to scam you beggars would try to rob you beggars would try to do all they can to get your money so in Jericho there was known to have a lot of beggars because when you couldn't work you had to depend on other folks so, so while they're going through Jericho blind Bartimaeus was not the only blind man but you, you find out in Matthew Matthew says there's two blind folks but Mark tells us there's one and his name is blind Bartimaeus have you ever noticed that people always call you by your dysfunction? How 
come he just couldn't be Bartimaeus? They had to put a disclaimer on him that he's blind Bartimaeus. You you know how they talk about you. That that's lying, Joe. That's 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 no good, so and so. That's that you, you understand how folks talk about you. They they never put your name out there without putting your issue. Ain't nobody talking to me. So, so while he's going through Jericho, Bartimaeus is on the highway side and he's, he's begging for arms. He's begging for something and he hears a crowd going by and he asks folks what's going on. And they say the blind Bartimaeus is Jesus of Nazareth. But Bartimaeus did not say Jesus of Nazareth. He said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. See, blind Bartimaeus, he couldn't see Jesus, but he heard about Jesus. And that's what the world is waiting on us to tell them about Jesus. They may not come in these four walls, but if we start telling them about Jesus, that's the only way they're going to know he's a healer. That's the only way he's going to know he's a deliverer. That's the only way they're going to know he's a mind regulator. Is there anybody ever here that know Jesus? Boy, this sound system sound pretty good to me up in here. Is there anybody in here that know Jesus is a rock in the river land? That know Jesus is a bread in the starving land? That know Jesus is water when you get thirsty? Somebody need to know something about Jesus. Y'all got time? Notice, notice, notice. Matthew tells me, Sister Stiggers, that Bartimaeus started following Jesus. I got a problem, I got a problem. I got a problem, Deacon Stiggers. He's blind. How can he follow Jesus when he's blind? Uh, I done opened up your door. That's why I like Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that saved the rest like me. I once was lost, but now if I'm blind, but now I see. Is there anybody in here that used to be blind, but now you see? Thank God for grace. Uh, uh, so he's he's blind and he asked the question what's going on point number one holler until you get his attention uh, uh, he, he asked them the question they said it's Jesus of Nazareth but blind by the man don't call him Jesus of Nazareth he called him Jesus uh, that son of David which is to say I'm going to give him his Jewish Hebrew title because I know that the Messiah got to come out of the lineage of David. Uh, so, so this is the true Messiah, Jesus. And since he's Jesus, thou son of David, I need you to have mercy on me. Uh, y'all missing it already. Uh, grandmama saying, don't call him if you don't need him. Don't call him if you don't want him. So whenever you call him, make sure you know what you need. Ain't nobody talking to me. He, he, he's, he's yelling and folks telling him to be quiet. Uh, deliver me from folks in church that get mad when I start shouting. Talking about it don't take all that. What, what, what they going through. Baby, if you knew the hell behind my hallelujah. If you knew the pain behind my praise. If you need the burden behind my blessing. You will holler with me. He's right there. Uh, he can't see, but 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 brother Terry, he heard that Jesus was passing by. Uh, uh, I, I bet not do this. Y'all might tear the church up. What would you do if Jesus was passing by? How would you shout? How would you praise? If he was stopped by 1601 Magnolia Road, give him your best praise. Give him your best hallelujah. Give him your best thank you. Holla! He said, I ain't got no other choice. Uh, uh, I, I got a handicap that's, that's keeping me from working. I, I, I can't work. They, they ain't giving me the aid and the assistance that they're supposed to. Uh, Y'all yeah, do know that's the job of the church to look out for the, those who are widows indeed. 
not the ones who got kids at home that can help them out but the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 5 I'll talk about that a little bit more later this afternoon but it's our job to help those who are widows indeed and so if you can work and get assistance you don't need the church but if you can't get assistance from nobody else that's the job of the church and, and, and it, was, it was those Pharisees and those scribes and some church folks I was telling him to be quiet don't tell me to be quiet you don't know what I'm going through you don't know what I need I need Jesus right now uh, 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 don't, don't, don't tell me not to be upset or cry on Mother's Day and your mama's still here don't, don't tell me how to act on Father's Day and your dad is still here. Every now and then I got to holler because the Lord knows what I'm going through. He's hollering. And while he's hollering, those church folks are telling him to be quiet. But because y'all telling him to be quiet, he hollers even louder because I need God to show up quicker than quick sooner than soon faster than right now God show up uh, now watch this watch this watch this uh, holler until you get his attention now uh, if you read the Bible like I read the Bible it says Jesus his disciples and a multitude were following him Okay, if they like some of us, we ain't gonna be walking and not talking. Come on, come on, come on. Have you ever seen people walk through the mall and it was silent? As they were walking, there's several conversations going on, but this man hollered that he hollered even over the noise that Jesus heard him and Jesus stood still. What you going to do to get Jesus a Christian? That's why I like the song that says, Pass me not thy gentle savior. Please hear my humble cry. While others thou art calling, don't pass me by. He may be talking to you, but he's looking at me. I may be going through something. You may be going through something, but he can answer my prayer and your prayer at the same time. You just got to keep on hollering till you get his attention. And Jesus stood still. everything he was saying but uh, Jesus stood still uh, uh, I, I wish y'all read the Bible like I read it uh, because there's another time digging lines that Jesus stood still when Stephen was being stoned Jesus stood up stood still and looked down and I believe Stephen looked in the eyes of Jesus and they tell me Saul whose name is now Paul he was the person holding their coat and I believe while Stephen was looking up while Saul was holding the cup he got a glimpse of God himself have you ever got a glimpse of God when he cracks the sky open and you can see his kind of glory what you gonna do to make Jesus stand still 